Okay, I think what we're gonna do today is a bit of work on this. And 10 inch Dobsonian. And what the issue is, the problem is that the tube is so large that when you try and center the mirror cell, you're just compressing the tube and you're not getting very much um, controllability, repeatability on how you um, center the mirror. What we have to do is, um, well, what my plan is, is to make some plywood rings for the bottom of this tube so that um, we can, can reinforce the tube around here so that when you're trying to center the uh, the mirror cell inside of here, you're not deforming the tube. So the, a tube reinforcement ring around where the uh, mirror cell gets mounted. So we want to make a tube ring that's probably, what is that, inch and a half wide, maybe an inch deep, something like that. Anyway, that, anything is going to be better than the, uh, the paper disc that we are currently using to um, support the uh, mirror cell. So yeah, that's, that's a quick rundown on what the plan is for today. So on my trammel, I've got a few different radii marked out, um, outside diameter, um, 3 8 bit, um, half inch shank, bigger shank you can, bigger shank you can get, um, is, effect, is the best for rigidity. And then this actually is an M5 that actually is into threads into this, so that forms a very rigid axis and you just spin around. Okay, so we've got the inside diameter pretty much nailed down. That's nice and tight. There are very slight gaps around the edge, but I think that is as close as I'm actually ever going to get to it, I think. So, yeah. I'm going to call that a day, and then I've got one more of these end caps to make so that I can put some uh, protection for this edge. Yeah, coming along nicely. Has that been any better? I don't even know. Okay, so that will make me stack up for the back mirror cell. Um, in terms of that should that should give me something rigid to work with, rather than just the tube, especially when that's pounded into the tube. They line up pretty well. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little bevel on that side that will slip inside the tube, and then now I've got an actual uh, rigid. And bracing on the inside so that the mirror cell will not distort the tube nearly as much. So it'll transfer more of the force of the um, the torque from the mirror on the tube and it'll distribute it across a wider uh, portion of the tube and it should be more rigid. Okay, so we have managed to put on, at least to dry fit, the front tube ring back tube ring, as well as remount the mirror in its new cell. Um, dry fit, nothing's permanent at this point. Um, I have collimated it, and it seems to be producing a reasonable image, I think. Let me just get 